friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here for another frequently asked question, and that is, do I sterilize my jars? And that is on anything such as things I may have water bath canned, like the salsa or these peaches, things that I've pressure canned, such as the beef here, the homemade meatballs, the carrots, or the green beans. I'm just showing a few things. Things that I've dehydrated myself and jarred up like this and vacuum sealed. Things that I've bought already dried, like these figs from that I get from Costco and vacuum sealed into the jar there. Or I forgot other things that it, such as uh, beef jerky or the ground beef that I dehydrate up and put into the jars. Or things that I vacuum sealed into jars like these, like the nuts. Do I sterilize any of those jars? Or what about when I'm making vinegar or fermenting things like the hard boiled eggs I'm fermenting in beet kvass back here, or even making homemade wine? Do I sterilize any of my bottles and jars? Now, I'm gonna answer this question just for the sake of answering the question, but what you choose to do has to be up to you. Please do your own research and don't trust my word alone. But here's my answer, no. I have never sterilized any jars for anything that I'm preserving. Now, especially when you're talking pressure canning or water bath canning, the jars are getting sterilized in that process anyway. As far as vacuum sealing or making wine or vinegar, no, I never sterilize my jars. And on any of this stuff, I've never had an issue. Yes, I do make sure my jars are clean when I go to use them, but as far as sterilizing them, I have never seen a need to do that. Again, I wanna stress, this is my own personal opinion and my own personal choice. You must research for yourself and talk to other people that may or may not do that and figure out what you think is right for you because everybody's gonna have different opinions and thoughts on this. My personal thoughts is just like when my kids were babies, I didn't sterilize any of their stuff because I believed it was important for them to be exposed to the natural viruses and bacteria and things that are out there because that is what strengthens our immune system. And as a result, my adult children have very rarely ever been sick. And I think that's just one of the ways we protect ourselves. But yes, I do understand the concern about botulism. Yes, it is real. Yes, it can happen. But I've also done the research on that and found out how rare it really happens. But even before learning about that many years ago, when I first got into canning and preserving foods in jars and vacuum sealing, I didn't know anything about botulism. I might have heard of it, but I really didn't know anything about it. I just did this stuff. And back then, a lot of people weren't vacuum sealing stuff into jars. I pretty much actually thought that was just something I came up with because I got tired of using plastic bags that would fail, uh, get holes in them, or food saver machines that just quit after two years and decided I was just gonna start using jars because it was healthier anyway. And then that makes me wonder too, do people sterilize their Ziploc bags and their food saver bags before vacuum sealing into those? I don't know, I've never heard of it, but no, I feel a lot safer vacuum sealing into my own clean jars that are not sterilized than using the food saver bags personally. But again, weigh it all out for yourself and decide what's best for you. We're all gonna have different thoughts and opinions on different things, and I wanna stress that this is just what I do. I'm not telling that you what's right for you. I just wanna answer one of the most frequently asked questions that I get, so that's what I'm doing today. And for those of you who do sterilize, don't sterilize, what do you do? Go ahead and share down below are, do you have some, some jars that you sterilize for certain things and some that you don't? Do you sterilize everything? Go ahead and put your comments down below so the people that come in and want to learn all this information aren't just hearing my own personal opinion, but can get some good ideas from you as well. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.